again, welcome to my Toyota Chaser, my birthday weekend, and a reveal of the Chaser, which will be in a separate video, so make sure you hit that bell and you subscribe to be notified for when that goes live, because this video is the cars arriving at Tucked at the Museum. So I'm at the entrance and about to film a lot of traffic. So of course the first arrival is one of the Tucked members himself in his Supra. And next, of course, we've got a shed on a trailer, because that makes sense. I anticipate most of these lanes to be full of modified cars throughout the day. We've got the 7 Series rolling, and that's the type of calibre of car we're going to see at Tucked. You can tell by the name of the show, it's Tucked. However, all modified cars are allowed. You've also got the S15. White wheel in the world. This weekend is definitely the start of the British car show season. We're seeing proper events now, finally after a winter of evening meets. This is it though, this is the scene. You've got the Lexus and the Beamer showing off exactly the type of car we're going to see today. Uh, and, and, and squeaky brakes as well. <laughs> to wake everyone up, even though no one lives locally. Even the 5 Series is providing the goods. I'm positive today is going to be a combination of coilovers and air ride. Look at the cambered above. Wow, never seen so much camber on one of those before. I believe there are white wheels as well. That's the Mitsubishi Colt. And that's a Golf. We have a lovely sounding and lovely coloured Audi. RS5. And from the other side, a pair of VAG Volkswagen Automotive Group vehicles. That one's lacking a bonnet. Golf GTI and the Beetle. Well, that one's also lacking a bonnet, but it's showing off a turbo there in gold. Turbocharged Beetle. Poll in the comments, do you call that a bonnet or an engine cover because this is the back? It feels weird calling something at the back a bonnet. I mean, Americans get it wrong, they call it a hood, but it's still not a hood because of the back. And for something a bit different, we've got a Chevy Dually. Diesel, look at the stacked exhausts! Oh, hey! Our next contenders have a turbo, the Civic Coupe, and the Scirocco in Nardo Grey, or like a darker Nardo Grey, I don't know. There are quite a few Volkswagens pulling in another Scirocco in another shade of grey. That one's got a little bit of colour to it. So this next vehicle I presume to be a BRZ rather than a GT86. Yes, it is a Subaru BRZ. Z if you're American and incorrect. Oh, it's got the Aventador style rear lights as well. Shut up, Meg. Bit of a combo now, the Peachy Polo. I'm sure there'll be a vast amount of peach coloured cars and an Evo as well. And a Polo in like Ruby Star. Yeah, but that's Ruby Star, which used to be Ruby Stone, a Porsche colour, and another Polo that isn't in Ruby Star. Next is a combination of Focus RSs, starting with the Mark 1 in Imperial Blue, which there actually are three shades of, and the Mark 3 in uh, Nitrous Blue, or British Gas Blue, as I like to call it. And now for a bit more JDM, the second S15 of the day. Shame the sun's in the wrong direction to bask in its glory. There's also a C2 and a Saxo behind, and M1 is on the eye. Clear rear lights, more white wheels, you should count how many white wheels we have today. Oh, of course, M1 is on the eye doing what they do best. You've got the pearlescent blue Audi TT and a GT86. It's convoy time, starting off with a 190E with a... Is that a space saver on the front? Yeah, space saver on the front, Polo GTI, XFR. And, and someone shouting, and this, which was wrapped by Bondi, the same guys that did my chaser. And another peachy car. And a Mazda RX-7. Oh, that's lovely. And because we're so close to Aston Martin, that is the brand new V8 Vantage, the first one I have seen. And that is a Golf. It's a really rare colour, oaky green. And it's boosted. And now this appears to be a German convoy with the Corrado at the front and another shouty man and a BMW M1 Sunny with a bit of yellow, got the M2 popping away, the CLA 45, another Polo, so many Polos here, got the E36 very clean and an Alfa Romeo 145 and someone on a trailer with another Polo and a Lupo. Was that an Arisa? I, I, I presume it's a Lupo. Mm. It was actually a Seat Arosa, not the Lupo, but the same, same, another E36 and another Seat. There we go. Arosa, number two. Someone equipped with sound and noise and a lot of it is on its way up. Could it be the Audi? Wow, check out the lights. Diesel Audi A3, clear ears as well. Maybe that was the 
noise equipped vehicle, the Golf. Could have been that Golf, it must have been that Golf. Maybe it was that Golf. Oh yeah, that's definitely equipped with noise. It's an R32, E92, another Audi, Nardo Grey again. Another crew of lowered cars. He's got a, an eyelash loose. Hello. Got vents in the Civic's bonnet and a horn, of course. That's a proper track car. And now time for more JDM. Got the PS13 and an MX-5 behind. Chrome deep dishes on that. We've got a Honda NSX pulling in as well. Not modified like some of the other cars, but definitely appreciative of that turning up. But we're going further down the road to see what else is coming up. Got the new M2. Got a few more cars. The Volvo. What else have we got? Alrighty then. Oh, look. Got the new DB12 going the other way. A Civic Coupe, people like those. What colour is that? Silver? Yeah, silver. Some cream development stuff. Got a few retro rides next up. Got the Boosted Golf. traffic lights for that reason alone we're gonna guess a three two one go there's another convoy coming with a ferrari ff you get some v12 noises from the ff please subtle chewbacca almost went for the overtake but chose against it that bike's got no rider right what have we got GT4 with a bicycle on its roof. He likes to ride his bicycle and a Chevy C10. And now first of all, I 
it's the Mitsubishi Evo 8. There's another S15 in the background. Turbocharged Civic that we saw recently at the show. There's a few more arrivals pulling in behind it in olive green. Here we go. because the show is called Tux. The Audi is also called Tux. Or Tux 3 d Here is the PS13. Another Ruby Star car. Time of Golf. Now for something different. A Rove of a Tess. Oh. After the Vitesse, we've got also Finesse with the Airstream. And uh, Revolutions from the Mr. 2. featuring a lot of camber. That's insane! <laughs> smoke. Is it the micro? Yeah. yeah. Wow! The yellow headlights adds to the ambient effects. Hello there! What the hell? And next 
Yes, we have the inevitable with a Mustang, or maybe the Mustang is the inevitable. Look, he's trying to hide from them. He's going as far as possible from the police. That's a massive mouth on that Mustang. Being as silent as possible. On R33. And MR2. Oh, did it just, what? It scraped on something. The back wheel was hitting the arm. Another Martin MX-5 with a lot of camber. The GTA 6 also sharing that camber. That's incredible. What do the uh, police think about those camber vehicles? In this new lineup, we've got another S15 for the day. I believe that's naturally aspirated. Oh, a white chaser with a green front splitter and camber. That's new. It's got green all around. Supercharged Challenger. Oh, this is, sounds scary. Oh, another boosted. Go oh, oh dear. Oh no! It's fallen apart. Is what's happened. What a, should, should we push it? It's it's up a hill. That's the trouble. There's bits of car on the road now. People are running over the Skoda, Skoda Estate. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ignore the inevitable. RWB. RWB Porsche 911. Oops. Oh, I've blown a drive shaft. Yeah, I thought it might be. <laughs> so we're trying to recover the 350 now as the R34 four door goes by. We've done this before. We have done this before. <laughs> Not with this car. Right? We push the car half a mile into play. BMW sees what happens. Yeah. Sorry, right, we got the green light. <laughs> there you go. It's, <laughs> it's free rolling. <laughs> it's now a game of how far up the hill will it go. Oh so it is a boosted 350Z, it's not standard, it's as soon as he came off the line the drive shaft just gave up. It's one of those things that it's going to happen at some point and it just so happened to happen just over there. Now we've got a few more cars turning up. Oh, it's a cow! The Mustang is a cow! How about that? The cars are running over bits of car, look, there's some drive shaft there. Oh look, we've got an Abarth 124 Spider. is aired out. Is it the only one in the world on air? I'm sure he likes to think it is. Yeah, flashing the headlights. There's a Renault van. Turbos, wow. Sleeper. Oh no, here we go. A blue Mazda RX-7. That's gotta be one of my favorites so far. Yes, yes, hello, hello Yaris. It's carbon fibre? No, this is what it is. Carbon fibre? Yeah. Look, there's more, more carbon fibre on the road. Oh, Mark II on the floor. More carbon fibre. M1 something the eyes, booting it. The RA doesn't need to. E36. deadline for cars to be in the show and we are reaching that deadline so I'm going back to the car so I can go into the show myself. That will be in a separate video within the show, walking around the car, showing off my new livery, revealing it to the world so make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified for that video. When it goes live, Mr. Two turboed. Adam Seafest is on the 27th of May. Look forward to seeing you all there. That Mercedes was beautiful. But for now, thanks for watching.